great university ought to care about the identity of the persons it produces for leadership. Ours is a school devoted to training leaders for business and society. How can we be doing that if we are not producing leaders drawn from every group? In many ways, the most important kind of exchange that occurs in the classroom occurs among students. And so a student hears a classmate from a very different background have a perspective on a question, on an issue, on an idea that is radically different from the student's own. And it's different in a way that is informed by something about the person's background, culture, and identity. Both students leave that exchange the better for it having occurred. In addition, there is a moral consideration for diversity, equity, and inclusion. The fact that it has not historically been achieved is in nearly every case partially the product of systematic exclusion. There's work to be done on multiple dimensions. On the faculty side, I hope over time to see our faculty, while not at all making any concession that reduces the excellence of the faculty, become more racially, culturally diverse, and diverse also by gender. As a faculty member, how does one bring DEI into the classroom? In the pedagogy, the content and format of our instruction. If an instructor is thoughtful about bringing diversity in case presentation into the classroom, she cannot reach for the shelf of existing cases. She must find new ideas, new initiatives, new ways of incorporating different voices into case instruction. One final point is that a truly diverse and inclusive place reflects that diversity and its regard and respect for that diversity in its iconography, its portraiture, the things that celebrate its history. That over time, we will have to bring new art into the building to reflect the vibrancy, the heterogeneity, the diversity of our community. If we were to become more racially heterogeneous in student body, if I looked across the faculty and saw a robust representation of black and Latino scholars, if in our case delivery we were more, more thoughtful, inclusive, and diverse, if I saw a portraiture that looked like the country, that would be success.